Hello. So today we are looking at Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Um, it is a name for God, which means the Lord will provide. Now, I don't know if you will know this really old song. I'm going to try and sing it to you so it gets stuck in your head. I used to sing it at my old church. And if you can imagine, all of the men used to jump around and dance and everyone used to dance around. And it was really like quite like banging drum. Um, really cool. So it used to go, Jehovah Jireh, my provider. His grace is sufficient for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider. His grace is sufficient for me. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. He will send his angels watch over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. So there you go. You've got that. Hopefully it will be stuck in your head now. Um, yeah, if you've got any recording contracts, send them through to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but today we are talking about this and we're thinking about when Moses took the people out of Egypt and they went into the desert. Now, I don't know if you remember, but he came to the Red Sea and he split the Red Sea with God's power and they walked through the Red Sea. So they saw amazing miracles when they came out and then they got into the desert and they were hungry. Now, I don't know about you, but if I get hungry, I get grumpy. And so did the people that Moses were with, the Israelites. They got very grumpy. And who did they get grumpy with? Moses, their leader, and with God. Now, we should never be grumpy with God because he is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. So what happened? Well, God provided by sending quails into their camp every evening so they had meat to eat. And every morning he sent manna from heaven. Now, Liz, what's manna? Well, it's bread that he sent down from heaven. It's like little flakes of bread. And they would be all over the camp in the morning and they'd go out with their baskets and they would collect the bread for the day. Now, when God told them to do that, he said, just collect enough for one day. Don't collect enough for tomorrow. Now, what did they do? Do you think they trusted God to be their provider for tomorrow? Or do you think they went out and gathered loads? Well, I think you guessed correctly. They went out and they gathered baskets full because they were probably worried they wouldn't provide. Or they just thought, I can provide for myself by making sure I've got plenty. And I wonder how many times in our life we do that. So, when that happened, when they woke up the next morning and went to their stores where they were providing for themselves with all this bread, all this manna, it had all turned to maggots. How gross. You don't want to eat a maggot, do you? When it was their Sabbath day, they didn't need to collect any. So God said to them, collect enough tomorrow. So they collected enough for tomorrow on the day before. They woke up in the morning, went to the baskets looking for the maggots. And the manna was absolutely perfect, really good for them to eat, which shows us that God provides for us. And actually, we have to trust him to provide. And I wonder how many times do you trust yourself or someone else to provide for you? How, where do we go to try and get provision? Do we trust the Lord who created us to also provide for us? So that's a challenge for us today, to know that God will provide. And not just in physical ways, but he'll provide protection for us, that he will provide guidance for us, for our future path. He will show us the way. Our God is such a good provider. And just think about it. If you made something, why would you not provide for it? He is kind and he is good and he is generous. So let's look to him and trust in him to provide for us every day. And like the Israelites, let's not be greedy and try and store up loads. Like the people who went out to the shops and bought loads of toilet rolls recently. Let's not be that. Let's trust God to provide. See you soon.